ternary diagrams plot three variables that sum to a constant on an equilateral triangle. A vertex of the triangle represents when one of the three variables is 100% of the constant. At the center of the triangle, all three of these variables will be equal. These diagrams are used in a multitude of fields. In geology, they are used to classify rock types based on mineralogy. In the material science field, they are commonly used as phase diagrams. Because Spotfire does not support triaxial plots, it is necessary to use a template that will transform these ABC coordinates into a coordinate system that Spotfire can chart. One of the great features of this template is the ability to show and select our data on a variety of maps. By selecting the Layers drop-down menu, we can select different layers, such as the U.S. states or county boundaries, a shaded relief map, and even a satellite imagery overlay. We can also zoom in on a data point to see the local topography. Clicking on the center point will recenter the map for us. We can also select what data we want analyzed from the interactive map. Looking at the ternary diagram tab, we can see our data filters on the left, our ternary diagram in the middle, and some bar charts on the right. Selecting the layer drop-down menu will allow us to change the appearance of the ternary diagram. We can add grid lines, show brittle ductile regions, determine rock type, and even have a custom ternary diagram of our choosing. The sample data for this template gives us a mineralogy breakdown into percent quartz, clay, and carbonate, commonly obtained from core samples. We can filter this data by depth, by quartz content, by low clay content, or by high carbonate content. We also can filter by well name, or by operator, or by formation. On the right hand side we see averages of our three variables quartz, clay, and carbonate for each formation selected. We can configure these bar charts to anything we like. For instance, instead of averages we can choose to see the max values found in each formation. Another great feature is the ability to create custom ternary diagrams to meet any need. Included with the template are two editable images, one with grid lines, one without. Using any image editing software, such as paint.net shown here, the image can be customized through a variety of tools like color fill, line draw, or the insertion of text. Once the image is saved, it's time to bring it into Spotfire. This is done by going into the custom ternary layer settings and loading the new file. Once the extent settings are set to match the templated area, you are ready to work with your new ternary diagram. In this case, we created a flammability diagram for methane, nitrogen, and oxygen. The sample data table includes the following columns. API number, well name, operator, latitude and longitude, sample depth, formation, quartz, clay, and carbonate. 
The quartz clay and carbonate columns represent the A, B, and C values. These could be relabeled in accordance with the new data set. The latitude and longitude columns are necessary if one wishes to use the interactive map. Thank you for watching this demonstration. This template is available for download at exchange.ai slash vendor slash Dean Gimbel. See all the templates at exchange.ai slash marketplace.